All right, so we are going to do a setup today for how to install Wabajack with Licentia Black. I know I promised this a while ago when I did the original Licentia setup and everything, but let's go ahead and do it for Wabajack. So you can go to Wabajack's website, come here, then you can go to your thing and download all the stuff. You want to go to the gallery. You want to select your game, which is going to be, of course, Skyrim Special Edition. Show NSFW. And you're going to go down and find it. It's the chick with the sword. is Licentia Black. Then you're going to say View. You have all this stuff here. You have the README and everything. And then you need to download the Wabajack app. So this has everything that you need on it to get started. It is all very straightforward, super easy. If you've done any mods or anything with Wabajack, this is going to be not a problem at all. Um, two things I would recommend. The premium accounts for these two. Nexus premium account is going to allow it to just automatically download everything. Otherwise, when it's downloading via Wabajack, it's going to ask you every single mod to do. Lever's Lab account for premium is very simple. You just need to create one, go to their site, create an account, done. Um, this is super easy to download and install. Once you have that, you just need to go to your Steam. Where is my Steam at? So you go to your Steam. You need to make sure that it's up to date. Go to your manage, go to your properties. So, updates. You want to update the game only when I launch it. And you want to make sure it's on your disk drive, whatever, all that stuff is good. That is the main thing is you want to make sure that it is only when I launch it. You're going to have to do a clean install with this. Check that box off open it through here hit play and let it do its download thing and all that and you do need to have the Skyrim special edition with the anniversary edition content otherwise this will not work you will go through the entire thing of Wabajack of downloading everything and then it's gonna have an issue and it's not going to work I have done this it takes hours and hours to learn that you cannot do it not fun so you make sure to do that all that stuff here you have all that stuff with where it is you can install it wherever you want good to go once you have done that then you can open up your Wabajack I'm gonna go ahead and do this on my other screen that you cannot see I have Wabajack installed on my E drive which is my external hard drive I'll bring this over here so you can see it. You go to your Wabajack. It's going to have a whole bunch of stuff in here. You just go to the actual application, the .exe, or the application of it. And it's going to go through this little setup here. Then you're going to install this way. So you can browse mod lists, same way. Skyrim Special Edition, show NSFW content. Licentia Black is there. It is perfectly capable. All you have to do is hit the download button. It's going to go through the little thing, or the, and then you'll have a little play thing. Click the play. It's going to go through the entire installation process. Once you go through the installation process, if there is something where it stops after the download before the install, and it has an error, then that means you have the incorrect version of Skyrim. You have do not have the anniversary edition content which has been required for pretty much every mod list now once you have it downloaded then it should create an entirely new mod organizer instance so I have this on my main drive because it makes it faster and it's gonna you're gonna put it wherever you install it and your folder is gonna look like this you're gonna come down here to the mod organizer application double click it if you see this this is the correct version of mod organizer this will pop up instead of the original mod organizer logo
in the background for my uh, monitor is actually the cover of my book I had kind of specially made on Amazon because I also write books for a living. But uh, da -da -da, this is totally fine. That happens. So here is where I made my first few mistakes that you do not want to make. You want to make sure of what profile you have. There is Licentia Black, which is, if you read through the entire description of the Wabajack list for this and all the information, this has it in it. But of course, most people don't read it as I didn't fully read it all the way through until after I started having issues and wanted to learn more about it before I did this video. So there's four different ones. Licentia Black is the safest, most easy to play setup that has everything that you want in it. It's got all the NSFW stuff, all the mods for that. It's also the smoothest running, so it's the less um, overhaul on your PC, so it takes less to run. It's the most efficient where you have the most frames per second, all that good stuff. Caden, you can do is just an extra little bit that adds Caden, some extra mods to Caden and stuff, and you can do Fudo with him, F-U-T-A. Um, Licentia Pitch is the the way that the person put it for when they did this is it's pretty generic. It's got everything on there, but it also has all of the sex lab, everything else in it. With that said, none of them are on because he wants you to go in there and read each one. And if you want to do the pitch with all of the fancy sex lab stuff, you must read his list. And then he has a nice little thing on that page on the website I showed you here of everything and how to do it via post installation mod organizer all that stuff here but then it's also got the animations and mod list stuff here it has everything in here if you read through it there are certain things that you should and should not do so with this one with the sex mods you're gonna have to go through and learn which ones you want to turn on and what they do he does not have it set up where you can do that. All you have to do go through is drill it through and turn them on. You're good to go. Now, the one thing I didn't know that would have been wonderful is if you are going to do any type of YouTube anything with this set, you have Licentia Safe. Licentia Safe. I have screwed mine up, so the only way I could get it is to reinstall my entire thing and have it click correctly. I went through and I was changing and adding the mods before I realized there was all these different profiles. Now that I know there's all these profiles, I could do that, but for me I'm not really creating a lot of YouTube videos of playthroughs and stuff like that. What this does is Licentia Safe still has all the body mods, everything else, but it also puts clothes on anybody that you kill, so that way there's nobody naked during your YouTube video streaming and it also has all of the sex mods turned off so there is nothing in here but the bodies to make them work for the physics and everything but there is no naked bodies there is no content that you can do there's nothing that's going to work so there is this is the safest easiest playthrough if you don't want any of that stuff or any random sex scenes any problems any options any of that so it's a big, huge upgrade to the regular Licentia where you had to manually figure that out. So keeping that in mind here, and you are good to go. I play with Licentia Black because that's the whole reason of why everybody has the mod. And there are a few things that I add to this that do run very smooth. And because there's a couple of things that I like to add to my playthrough. One was perk points is I feel like there's not enough. I know that the person that created this did a wonderful job with adding some extra ones in there. However, I do really like having this available. So this one is the perk point book. browser 
So you can go to this perk point book for Skyrim Special Edition. What this does is you can set this up however you want, but it basically gives you skill points 1, 3, 5, or 10, depending on your choice, each time you open the book. I realized shortly after this that that is not needed because in the game there is also a way to transfer your dragon souls into perk points later on. So if you want one that's in there, you can do this. This one is safe, puts it right into your inventory right at the beginning of the game, and you can add perks as you want them or need them if you feel like you're not getting enough. So that one is very safe. Now, the second one, which I'm unsure why they didn't put this in Licentia Black. This is one that I got from Licentia, and I learned about from Licentia. The original one is the mini-map. The mini-map, oh my gosh. I don't know how this was not added into this one. The mini-map is the most fantastic thing that I've seen in Skyrim for a long time. The only thing I use it for 90% of the time is not to see where things are, people, that type of stuff, enemies incoming. I don't use it for any of that. I use it specifically for when I kill things or I Fusro Da somebody and they die and I need to go get that item. I can actually see where the corpse is. It does the grayed out dots on the map for each person or body that you have killed or slain. That way you can find it easy enough because I have spent many a time where I killed something off in the distance and I'm running around through the grass and the forest and the trees trying to see where its body is. To not find it and to get frustrated after a few minutes and be like, okay, I, I give up. I'm not going to look for this, you know, pelt or anything anymore. But when it comes to quest items or people that you kill and you want their good equipment and you're like, where the heck is the body at? That is the main thing I use that for, and it is fantastic. Put it underneath the UI HUD. It works great. So whenever you go up here to the UI HUD, I went in here and I put it in right at the very bottom of the UI HUD. Works fine. No additional problems. That is probably the one thing that I would say I add every single time to every single mod list I have now. So with that said, once you have this up to go, you are ready to run it. There are a few things. I will do another video with some better quality because I noticed I had some issues in my last videos from gameplay where it glitches a little bit and skips because I'm not recording it at a certain level. So this one is going to show this and part two is going to show you everything on how to set it up once we are in the game. So that is part one. We'll see you on the next one.